next to you, I got six up here, six over here, just kind of squeeze in. So we're just going to get together, to be a community together, to hold each other up as we are mourning and grieving what our community was yesterday is no longer. So we need to come together and be together to help one another. So as people are coming in, uh, what I think we're going to do tonight is I'll have a few of the community pastors and people of faith leaders that, to come up and just share something from them. And then we will pray together as a prayer vigil tonight. And we'll see what we can do together and believe together. For me, what is very difficult today, there was a father of one of the children that was shot that called me, and he said, I'm on my way to bring my son to the hospital. Could you please pray? And of course, when you hear something like that, you, you say things like, are you kidding? And when you think about it later, that's a terrible, terrible prank to pull on someone. You know they're not kidding. But you enter into a moment of disbelief. And I would bet 100% of us are an area of disbelief and shock. What do we say? What do we do? Where do we go? Can I go to the hospital? That was my first thought. And I got in my car and I was going to go down to the hospital. When I remembered my children are in the middle school, and I didn't know what was happening there. And suddenly, disbelief turns into just shock. And I would bet 100% of us this evening are also in shock. And as a person of faith, who uses this platform every Sunday, every Sunday, to preach on the love of God, the love of Christ, the things, the belief, the hope, faith, hope, and love. What do you say on Tuesday when it feels like those things may have failed you. I've seen this community in action. I've seen when someone hurts. I've seen what the community can do with tragedy. And I believe I will see what our community will do with great tragedy. But this community will rise to the challenge, rise to the tragedy that is before us with great unity. What I would like to do is just pray for everybody. 
everybody here who's watching. We have it live streamed as well, and the people in the lobby, everyone here. I just want to pray a prayer. Like I said from the beginning, this is completely unscripted. We don't have anything written up here. Because who can write something for this? Who can ever plan for this? And you may not be a person of faith, and I get that. I understand. And you may be a person that says, just, I'm here so that we can be together. I thank you for doing that. As a pastor, I thank you for being here tonight and saying, I don't really believe in all that, but I'm willing to go there and be a part of that to bring unity to a community. So I'd like to start with just a moment of silence. And if you're not a praying person, can you at least just think about the parents tonight? who at three o'clock didn't have their child come home. Could we all just for a moment pray or think about them for the students who are in surgery today, fighting for their lives. Can we just take a moment and be still and pray? pray for every student that was in Oxford High School today. I pray for every teacher. I pray for every administrator. I pray for our superintendent. I pray for everyone. The police officer. somehow, in some way, tonight, you'd help us to find peace. And Lord, I pray for the families I pray for their friends. some way, I pray for peace. Amen. Please don't feel guilty that you're safe. Every, every emotion is on the table tonight. If you are angry, I want you to be angry at God. He can take it and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And I'm not going to apologize for God. 
I'm not going to tell you that there's some reason because that is insulting. Can I get an amen? And if you think there's a reason that God did it or let it happen, keep it to yourself. Fair enough. But I saw something in that board meeting. I saw all these people living their worst nightmares with all of their friends and their students and their, their, their parents and their all there trying to make sure that people get taken care of. And I saw something in that, right? When we hold hands, when we hug somebody, when we let them know they're not alone. God's with us somehow. Heartbroken, if you're heartbroken, raise your hand. God's heartbroken too. We're not alone in this. Some of you don't believe in vaccines. We're still all this in together, right? Some of you are pro-masks and we're still in this together. Some of you are Democrats, Republicans. Some of you are atheists. Some of you are Christians. We're all in this together. We're not alone. And we're going to get through it together. And we're not going to get through it unchanged. And this is going to be a day. It's going to be a day we're going to remember. Maybe a day when we realize there are more things that are important than all the stupid stuff that we've been through. Amen? And Father, I pray that you would bless each and every one of their lives. Even the ones who can't stand but were there. How many of you cried today? How many of you are still crying? I'm going to encourage you to keep crying. 